wonderful people welcome back to my channel we're down to the making of water fufu and aero today guys as a matter of fact guys we can all attest to the fact that water fufu and aero is something else it's a special dish uh i'm gonna go down to the introduction of the ingredients so i have my bundles of water fufu here guys guess what these are from cameron Kama fresh Guys, you can't really imagine how I feel right now. So I have three bundles of water full. I'm going to be showing you how to make this later. I have my fresh arrow from Cameroon. Fresh water leaves. Some palm oil from Cameroon too. I have some smoked mackerel. Some cow skin. Some dry cow meat. Some salt. Crayfish. Maggi. Guys, I'm using the German version of Maggi. So I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients again from above. Guys, there's something that is lacking in this recipe and that's fresh habanero pepper. So if you have that, include that in it. I'm going to be using it at the end. It takes the dish to another level. All right, guys, let's go down to business. So guys, we're going to start the preparation of our arrow like this. First and foremost, we're going to boil our meat, cow skin, and fish together. Note so that our meat has been smoked, so it makes it partially cooked. And our cow skin was already boiled and cleaned. That is very important. So I'm going to place my meat in the pot. My cow skin. And my smoked fish. Add some water, a little bit of maggi, and some salt. Cover this up and let this boil till tender. As I earlier said, note that the cow skin has been boiled and cleaned, and the fish and meat were smoked, so they are partially cooked. That actually reduces the amount of time we're going to need in preparing this three. So put a lid over your pot and boil. So we're gonna go ahead and check our meat, fish and cow skin. So I'm gonna remove everything from the stove and separate our meat, fish and cow skin from the little broth that is remaining. So guys, we have our cow skin, meat and fish already boiled and just a little bit of stock. So keep these aside. So the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and boil our water leaves. So we're going to use the same pot that we used in boiling our meat. Put your water leaves in the pot. Cover this up and boil for approximately 15 minutes. Guys, our water leaf has been cooking for approximately 10 minutes. I guess it's ready now. Yup, it is. When you notice that the water leaf is no more producing water, add your arrow. Guys, make sure to wash your arrow with hot water. Make sure it's well cleaned. It's very important. You don't want to upset your boils. Mix this up. Guys, to keep your arrow green, immediately after adding your arrow to the water leaf, add your oil. This is to maintain the green coloration of your arrow. So we're going to go ahead and add oil at this stage. mix the quantity of oil use is subjective it will depend on your level of consumption of palm oil so we're going to go ahead and add our cow skin meat and fish guys do you remember the little broth we had very little like a quarter cup so we're going to add the broth add a little bit of salt remember we use salt in boiling our meat so make sure to check on that 
add maggi add your crayfish at this stage lastly we're gonna add some ground habanero pepper mix everything up to make sure that your maggi salt are balanced and then we're gonna drop a single habanero pepper in there man guys if you really want dry arrow then exclude the little broth I added you want it a little bit moist highest one quarter cup of broth So guys, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up for the last time and my arrow is ready. Of course, you can see the under part of the pot. Look at the green nature of the arrow. So guys, I have three bundles of water fufu here and I'm going to be putting them in a pot. So we're going to go ahead and add some water to our uncooked fufu. So mix everything up. Use your hands to mix everything up. You want to break the crumbs until everything is smooth. Add your water a little quantity at a time. This is how you do it. Like this. Press. Like this. And press. Guys, the right consistency has been reached. So this is what we want. You want it dropping like this, thick, but having water at the same time. So we're going to place this on the stove and start stirring. So guys, at the stage where your water food becomes really hard, add some water, put your gas on low and boil for approximately 5 minutes. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and check. So we're going to go ahead and continue the mixing process. Good water fufu is supposed to be white at the beginning and then gradually turn pale yellow after being cooked and has to come with a little bit of stretchy consistency after it has been cooked. Guys, your tofu is ready. You can go ahead at this stage and enjoy it with some okra or arrow as on this video. See you guys in the next video. Love and light your way. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.